So, Paul, great to have you on Power Lunch. First, explain. I love this because you kind of are at the intersection of Bitcoin, mining, and energy. Explain in sort of plain English for the audience, what does Terra Wolf do? We're an energy infrastructure shop. Uh, thanks for having me, by the way. Uh, it's exciting to be here, especially when you talk about the New York teams. Uh, you left out the Yanks. Um, we're an energy infrastructure shop, and we have always been looking for the highest value for our megawatts and energy infrastructure. Uh, there isn't a more flexible load out there than a Bitcoin mining facility, and so that is how we started. Uh, but now there's tremendous value and opportunity for our shareholders uh, as we pivot um, into HPC AI. And, and so we have reserved our next, if you will, 250 to 500 megawatts uh, to build out HPC AI facilities for customers. Okay, uh, I would ask about HPC AI, but I don't know what HPC AI stands for. I'm guessing the AI compute. is artificial intelligence. Right, high power compute, artificial intelligence. Um, you know, it's, it's what all the hyperscalers mm -hmm. are looking for right now. They're trying to capture uh, energy infrastructure and power. Um, our focus is in the co-location side of that business where we'll look for people that have enterprise customers uh, and we could provide energy uh, and facilities for them. So here's why I love having you on, Paul, because, and, and put it in, and I think you could put it in plain English because energy is your world even before TerraWolf, which is this. You said 500 megawatts. A lot of people don't understand what that means. That is probably going to mean what? About, that's a couple hundred thousand homes worth of electricity we're talking about Three Mile Island coming back online, Amazon making nuclear deals. Can we do any of this stuff in a macro way without nuclear? I, the answer is I don't think so, but nuclear is going to take a real long time. I think the near-term solution are large gas-fired facilities uh, and, and the acceleration um, to the extent possible with some of the renewables. But nuclear is going to take a real long time. I think we're you're looking at 10 years away um, in terms of new generation for nuke, in terms of restarting the facilities. I mean, we have to see. Uh, it's a technology that we've we've lost for a little long, for a little bit of time, and that we have to bring back to the United States. Real quickly, Paul, why are you selling uh, this one sort of project at a time when is it in order to fund the bigger projects that you now see uh, as more attractive? Um, yes, but it, 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 you know, we were just a 25% interest in a joint venture. And in fact, um, we got a great return on the deal. It was 3.4 times. More importantly, we were selling at the time when our interests were most valuable um, before they go to nothing. I mean, we had three years left on a contract of two cent power, and then there was no residual value left. So we got a chance to get a great return on our investment take something, sell it a real premium, and then return it uh, to our shareholders in the form of investment in our HPC AI business, renewing our Bitcoin fleet. Mm -hmm. so it's going to be 18 point joules per tariff, the most efficient fleet out there, low cost of operations. Uh, and, and we just have increased liquidity for growth. It was, it's a great deal for, for our shop. 